kiss for you. Hello friends, today in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to view a Revit project in mobile. Okay, sometimes what will happen, you will prepare a project for your client or your, for your customer, but you will forget to take your laptop. So at that time you can use your mobile and show the client what project you have prepared for him. Okay, so for that first you should have a plan. like. Uh, any uh, sort of plan like structure or architecture so okay so if you see on the screen here I have a uh, architectural floor plan of the ground floor okay and I'll take you to the 3d menu of this plan okay so this is the front view here okay uh, and at the left corner we have the 3d cube okay so if you can move that thing and see what we have here we have a small swimming pool here okay and if you see we have here like ground floor first floor and roof level means three levels i have okay some sitting area or beside swimming pool some landscaping okay we have here two cars all the things have been arranged here okay in the front we have a main gate also but now how to use this project in mobile okay so for that what we have to do first we have to save the project so for that what i'll do i'll go at top left corner i will click that uh, option okay and i will select save as option in that i will select project okay after clicking project i will give file name like if you see here i have given easy revit learning file name okay but uh, that file i have already saved okay so what i will do i will click here cancel because i have saved my file already just to show you how to sh save the file i have opened this so i will click cancel okay now this file whether we can have in a mobile through our email or through our google drive okay but i will save this file on my google drive okay so i'll open my google drive in the chrome browser if you see i have saved the file here the file size i have here is like 16 mb it depends upon the project size okay now this file we have to open in our mobile so for that purpose what we have to do first we have to open our mobile okay unlock the mobile and go to your google drive option okay in the google drive if you see there in the google drive we have to first open okay so what i will do i will click on that icon and i will open my google drive okay now if you see at the top i have that file recent file in the recent file list i have that file i will download that one okay so if you see in the notification panel now i have that final or uh, i have that file at here like easy revert learning with the google drive option showing it's downloaded and the file size and the time okay now this file has been downloaded okay now what we have to do now we have to download the software in which we have to view our project okay so for that what i will do i will go to play store to download that software for visiting play store i have to click play store option then in the google play search banner i will search bim 360 okay and after searching bim 360 the first option bim 360 team autodesk inclusive software i will install that software okay so if you see here i have already installed this software okay so now what i will do i will click on open option okay now when i click on open option it will open the software now we have to add the downloaded file which we have downloaded from our google drive so for that reason what i will do i will click on this plus symbol at the bottom right corner okay so i'll click on this option i'll get three options upload a file take a photo and choose photo so i'll select upload file option over here okay then i will get the recent downloaded file over here i will select that file and i will upload that one and select the folder in which folder you want to upload that software if you see here uh, the second file i have already uploaded the file here to save the time because it will take a lot of time okay now what i will do in the notification panel i will go and i will select the file i will tap that file to open in the bim 360 team software okay now when i click that software now when i click that uh, file it will open here 
okay now if you have to be very patient because this will take a lot of time this is not uh, very easy still if you use any kind of well in this tutorial i am using samsung galaxy s7 edge but still i am facing some problems because uh, this is a kind of bug in this software means what whether the file is like 5 mb 10 mb 16 mb 20 mb it will take some time to open the file okay now when the file is getting open you have to be very patient you have to review your things what you want to do what you have to do okay now if you see i think my file has been open but i have to zoom it i have to zoom a lot because i think my file has been saved in a very small format so what i have to do i have to zoom there okay so first let me zoom that uh, area over here if you see on the screen there is some plan i can see okay so if you can see that plan i am zooming out there i'll zoom that one i'll arrange in the order so when you open the software the drawing may be in any shape like it will be on top view front view any view so first what we have to do we have to click on the gravity option and we have to arrange that option in the front view or top view whichever you want okay now when we set that one it will look like this now i have set this file in the left front corner okay now if you see on uh, the software will going to have these kind of options like if you see in the right top corner okay top right corner you have the 3d menu showing left and front option so this is our 3d cube okay and in the bottom area we have here like arrow mark this is our gra gravity enable option like if you click on that our gravity will be enabled and beside that one we have our cursor okay now below that one if you see that pencil option if you want to edit something or if you want to give text or any boxes any cursor or arrow mark so you can use this option okay now the second option like camera if you see the over there that camera option we can use like if you want to add some photos or something like that and again we have here third option home if you want to go to home view you can select that home button but if you click on that last button that dark one so you'll get this kind of options like sheets parts properties comments and the parts will have our labels like ground floor plan floor first floor plan and roof level plans and if you want to add any comments in the project so you can add but still so this is the process which we have to follow but still if you have any doubts you can follow us and you can comment us thank you